Hey, this is Brendan from Turnstile, and you're watching Heavy Consequence on Consequence of Sound. Obviously, Glow On, really great album. Uh, we gave it a stellar review here at Consequence of Sound. Um, coming off time and space, what was the band's mentality and approach going into recording this new album? Um, I think it was just, you know, I think it's always uh, similar in the sense it's kind of just taking where we're at, taking the ideas that have formed over the last couple of years of being a band and, and growing up um, and trying to just put it into, into songs. Um, as simple as that sounds, I think that's always just kind of the, the goal. And how much of the album making process was affected by the pandemic and were you were you had you started before then uh did you do bulk of recording during the pandemic and how much do you think it ended up impacting the actual songs that made it onto the album i think it impacted it a lot because i think it opened up a lot of time to kind of be alone and kind of be isolated sitting with the songs and working on things and trying different things um and I think it kind of opened up this window that typically we wouldn't have because we'd be so busy with traveling or just other life things that tend to get in the way. And I think uh, that window of time allowed for just kind of like, you know, the ideas to, to flourish a little more. And before the album, you released uh, the Turnstile Love Connection EP and it had this really great accompanying video or short film, if you will, where it was soundtracked by each song on the EP. And I thought it gave like really nice insight into just the camaraderie and the community that kind of surrounds Turnstile. If you don't mind speaking on that, you know, and how that video kind of reflects, you know, what goes on around the band. Yeah, I guess in, in some ways, uh, I mean, just putting it together was just put together with, with friends and people that, um, everyone in the video is people that, you know, are from our, our friend group or community that were just, you know, around and people that filmed it and edited it were friends that we've made through, um, just through music. And um, so it's kind of a, a collective group effort, effort just to, just to put it together. And we're all super proud of it and happy how it, how it came together. And uh, the track Mystery, uh, which I said is, is, is one of our top songs of the year, uh, it's both on the EP and on the album. And it was the first single release and you're also, I've noticed you're also using it to kick off your, your, your shows recently. And the reaction has been amazing, uh, just looking at the footage and, and everything else. And can you talk about, you know, that song, that, that's, that decision to kind of put that out there first and then some of, about the song itself, just like musically and lyrically? Yeah, it's, just, it's a song. It was probably the first song that we had written for, for Glow On. Um, and it kind of, I guess in some ways, um, just set the stage for the rest of the album. Um, and yeah, I just, I, I, I like the song. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, it's been, it's been fun to play live as well and be able to play it and have people sing it. It's, it's been really cool. Cool. And, uh, you know, it, I, I think it actually, that song in particular kind of offers a little bit of a, a glimpse of like who you are as a band. You know, there's just a little bit of everything. There's that really cool trippy intro. There's kind of these like Nirvana chords in there. And then there's like the, you know, the kind of the hardcore chorus, the sing-along chorus. So, and, and, and you guys are such a genre defying band. When you guys go into making an album, what are some of the influences that you're taking with you that kind of supplies this wide range of, of music that we hear on the on the end result. Uh, I think we all just you know as as people just are inspired by all kinds of different music and, and things and places and people and try to just never close off or limit what those where those inspirations come from. Um, and they're always kind of shifting and changing as well. And I think um, not necessarily specifically um listing what inspires each individual part but i think it's kind of just that openness to kind of um 
embrace just like what feels good when writing a song and um also that that freedom to kind of try things and try sounds that um maybe are a little unfamiliar but are desired or kind of like you know dreamed about making and putting into a song and um so yeah cool and you're actually getting you're getting some nice radio play with the song blackout uh and that's one of the heavier songs on the album uh can you talk about that one a little bit yeah just another one where it's it's just been you know a lot of times it's it's exciting making a song but more so even being able to play it live and seeing it take um you know come to life in a, in a different way that didn't exist when you're writing it in your bedroom when you're actually sharing it with people it kind of takes a different form sometimes and that's one where it's been really exciting to see that like song exchanged in a uh at a show so cool and you guys you know we said you know you aren't afraid to push the boundaries of rock as a recording band but also as a touring act you recently completed a tour that had you know primarily hip-hop acts it was headlined by suicide boys what goes into your thinking of like joining a bill that's kind of eclectic like that and do you feel you have to kind of win a crowd over if they're not necessarily there to see you when you go on a, a multi-artist bill like that and and not all the bands sound like you i think it's exciting to be able to you know always step outside of your comfort zone or um you know it's i think it's easy to fall into doing the same kinds of things over and over um so i think that goes with like you know doing you know our own things to like festivals to kind of different kinds of tours where maybe we're the only band or kind of like the the fish out of water a little bit um just because it is it's something that is kind of just challenging things we've done before or playing for new people which i think is always kind of a a gift to be able to play for new people especially if they're people that are um open and excited about just music and you know experiencing music live so i think we always try to um kind of embrace those um those kinds of things and make sure that nothing ever feels like routine or um something that we've done before cool and you just announced your own headlining tour for 2022 and you're playing some bigger venues i'm looking forward to seeing you guys uh here in new york at brooklyn steel which is a great venue uh and uh you know, your shows, you're, you've become one of the most dynamic live acts, you know, to emerge in the past decade. I mean, you know, if whether you're at the show or you see footage of your show, it's ins it's pretty insane. I mean, there's people stage diving left and right. The crowds are intense. What is it like for you as the singer standing up there in the middle of the stage with all that surrounding you, both from like a mental standpoint and a physical standpoint, performing with all that chaos around you, but like, you know, this kind of beautiful chaos, if you will, uh, as, as a singer. I always wanted to know, you know, we see it from the from the video footage or we're, at, we're in the audience, but to, to, to hear the perspective of the singer, I'd, I'd love to hear that. Yeah, I, it's all a little blurry, you know, when um, being up there and just like lights and bodies and all those kind of things, but um, I think it's very, uh, it feels good to kind of like, you know, have that as an outlet to kind of just get, you know, play songs and have people kind of have the freedom to kind of do whatever they want as well with this music, you know, whether it's get on stage and, and dance all silly or to just like jump around or to just like chill or whatever it is. Like, I think there's kind of like a feeling of freedom that kind of comes with, you know, that environment that is felt you know, went on stage um, as as I'm singing the song that I think is probably the same as it feels by someone that's um, on the other side, that's of the room, that's just like, you know, um, kind of just experiencing it a different way. And that, that freedom is something that I always feel like very comfortable in, you know, I think I get, always get nervous being having to play shows, but like once we're able to start playing, there is that kind of just like, that common energy in the room, it always feels just really good and um, just rewarding to be able to have that freedom to kind of like, you know, get those, get those things out. You know, looking at the future, like we've talked about how you guys have like no rules and no boundaries when it comes to genres. Do you see yourself or do you see the band rather 
kind of continuing to evolve from a musical standpoint on, on future albums and, 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 and continuing to experiment and go beyond, you know, the kind of the restrictions of rock and hardcore as, 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 as you continue to record in the, in the upcoming years? Uh, yeah, I think we'll just continue to kind of just do what, uh, you know, what feels true to us and what feels and what feels right. And, um, you know, that that may be constantly evolving or shifting or, you know, I think it's kind of just exist like existing in the moment as as a band and, um, you know, having no kind of plan for the future other than to just, you know, just to do do what we will. Well, it all sounds good. Brendan, I appreciate your time. Uh, congratulations on being named uh, Consequence of Sounds uh, Heavy Artist of the Year. And uh, we look forward to bigger things in uh, 2022 and beyond. And uh, like I said, Glow On is a real great album and, uh, and uh, happy to celebrate it here at uh, Consequence. Thank you so much. I appreciate the, the, uh, the heavy artists of the year and just the, the taking your time. I really appreciate it.